For being a good neighbor and a compassionate business owner, we introduce you to our Staten Islander of the Week. Who wakes up and, and knows that basically their whole life has been destroyed? Louis Cintron lives in the same neighborhood as the seven families who lost their homes in last month's deadly fire in Port Richmond. My two good brothers, they didn't have to go like that. The fire ripped through six homes on Jewett Avenue, including that of brothers Sean Dale and Sharon Gutter who were later found dead in their home. You know, I thought, well, what's going to happen now to these people? You know, they're going to have to start all over. So Cintron, owner of Nostalgia Oak Warehouse, says he decided to help them. Fire victim Amanda Morrow says she saw an ad in the paper that Cintron was giving away furniture to the families affected by the fire. We came here thinking we would get one piece of furniture, mm -hmm. which was fine. But then Lou actually said that he would furnish every room in the house that we lost. From bed sets to kitchenettes, Cintron has given more than $40,000 worth of brand new furniture to the families who lost everything. We invited the families in. We wanted to know what their needs were. So I sat down with them, asked them how many uh, people in the family, how many rooms in the new apartments. Alejandro Lagos then delivered the furniture free of charge. They are very happy, very happy. You know, they don't have nothing, nothing, even a bed, mattress, nothing. Cintron says he's given four families furniture so far, and the offer is still good for the remaining three. Helping an, uh, another person that may be in need, that's how I'd like them to remember me. They, they, they'll, they'll take, if they see an opportunity to help someone, that they would. So for taking the opportunity to help neighbors in need, Louis Cintron is our Staten Islander of the Week. I didn't believe it. Uh, he's, he's a special type person. They don't make them like that anymore. Robert Moses, New York One.